Well, Meta, Facebook's parent company, is slated to deliver four additional headsets employing Qualcomm chips over the next two years. Excited enough? With the latest due to arrive this October, hope for the best. Most likely during Meta's Virtual Connect conference on October 11, as per the sources. Welcome back to Tech Insights. And it's likely to be dubbed the Quest Pro. Want to know more in detail? Continue watching. Despite being two years old and more costly, the Oculus Quest 2, now named the Meta Quest 2, has been a remarkably popular virtual reality headset and remains our top VR device. Back in August, the hardware's price climbed by $101. The headset now costs $400. However, there are additional VR gadgets on the way that appears to be much more pricey. During a recent interview on Joe Rogan's podcast, Mark Zuckerberg revealed the headset's release date. We also know the design and packaging of the headset based on convincing-looking leaks. Despite Zuckerberg's ambition to bring the world into the metaverse, most individuals do not use VR. VR headset sales are expected to increase in 2022, with shipments this year expected to hit 13.9 million units, according to market research company IDC. Meta's Quest 2 hardware is anticipated to account for 90% of that market. 2023 is likely to be much greater, with Apple and Sony releasing headsets. Meta's next headset is geared towards corporate and professional users rather than the general public. Last year, the headgear, dubbed Project Cambria, was unveiled. Expect it to be a poor man's sequel to Quest 2. It would highlight enhanced hardware features and sensors at a substantially higher price, similar to what Mark Zuckerberg promised CNET back in 2021. Project Cambria, or the Quest Pro, appears to be a significantly more expensive and complex type of AR-VR hybrid, a bridge device that may be a great VR headset while also enabling mixed reality with enhanced cameras. The Cambria will also have new sensor technologies particularly eye tracking and facial tracking, which might open up new avenues for engaging in virtual reality and manipulating your avatar. However, eye tracking raises concerns regarding data privacy. Quest 2 is a standalone game. Yes, the Cambria appears to be a standalone device similar to the Quest 2. However, like with the Quest 2, anticipate it to link to PCs and, to a lesser extent, phones. Early design mock-ups reveal a smaller design than the Quest 2, although a bigger battery might entail greater weight. Meta has previously revealed that the headset would be more compact where the lenses touch the face, thanks to the use of pancake lenses that may minimize the distance required to generate believable 3D effects. The bigger battery appears to be able to rest on the rear of the headgear, providing a design that resembles Microsoft's HoloLens 2, an augmented reality headset, rather than Meta's current Oculus VR spectacles. VR headsets such as the HTC Vive Focus 3, as well as Meta's battery strap adapter for the Quest 2, places batteries on the rear of the headset. While recent publications such as The Information refer to Cambria as a laptop for your face, implying greater self-contained power, anticipate the headset to link with PCs for more powerful applications, similar to what the Quest 2 can accomplish presently. Additional Sensors In an interview with CNET last year, Mark Zuckerberg told me that a pro version of the Quest will focus on additional sensor technologies. Eye and facial monitoring are already established, but the Cambria may enable additional health and fitness tracking. Meta's VR platforms have prioritized fitness, and the business has previously bought a subscription fitness service that tracks heart rate via a linked Apple Watch. The Oculus Move app is compatible with Apple Health. Meta is also said to be developing its smartwatch. What effect will it have on reality? An enhanced external cameras in Project Cambria will collect pass-through color footage and display it on the headset's internal display. 
The Quest 2 can also see through and see the outside world, albeit only in blurry black and white video. The Quest 2 creates a sort of mixed reality by overlaying certain VR with this stream, such as room boundaries. Expect the Cambria to be significantly more realistic in this regard. Mark Zuckerberg demonstrated the headset's capabilities on Facebook in May. I've already experienced one use of this technology on a high-end VR headset built by Vario, a Finnish business. The Vario XR3 scans the real world with LiDAR and cameras before layering VR into it in a way that looks almost as genuine as the effects in Microsoft and Magic Leap AR headsets. Meta's Cambria is likely to do something similar. Meta's hopes for future AR glasses have yet to be realized, but the Cambria might wind up being a toolkit for developers to create AR-like experiences that also incorporate hand and eye monitoring. How will eye tracking function? We don't know the specifics, but most VR eye tracking works in the same way. Infrared cameras detect eye movement, and some trackers also take pictures of your eyes. Eye tracking may be used for a variety of purposes, including by selectively presenting the highest resolution features where the fovea of your eyes is looking, foveated rendering can provide better graphics with less processing power, perhaps resulting in greater battery life or performance in a smaller headset. Eye tracking may also be utilized to produce more realistic eye contact for avatars, as well as to increase control precision when combined with hand tracking and controllers. It may even imply improved accessibility for persons with limited mobility as the VR interface will be operated only by eye movements. Meta appears to be integrating face and eye tracking cameras, which might be used to map emotions and facial expressions into avatars. However, all of this tracking raises new privacy concerns. While Meta has pledged openness and controls on how monitoring data is used, Facebook's track record of user data misuse raises several worries. Perhaps better avatars? Zuckerberg claims that this headgear will animate avatars more accurately and may include enhanced meta avatars. Mark Zuckerberg's latest cartoonish avatar in Horizon Worlds has become a widely derided meme, but can eye tracking and improved visuals make interactions seem better than they do now? Meta is planning to make this a significant part of Cambria's efforts, although it's unclear how the future headset's enhanced avatar controls will interact with the rest of the Quest 2 owners. It's unlikely to be as much of a game console. If the Cambria headset costs more than $800, it will never be as popular as the Quest 2. Meta appears to be implying that this is not the point of Cambria, implying that game makers may be less focused on the new hardware. Facebook has a history of financing many gaming and creative initiatives on its VR platforms, but it appears that Cambria is not interested in releasing new titles. Instead, Meta will most likely concentrate on a wide range of business, training, fitness and AR crossover apps to aid in the development of its metaverse ideas. In that sense, existing Quest 2 users may already have the finest VR game console for the foreseeable future, until the PlayStation VR 2 arrives in 2023 at least. The newest Meta Cambria report from the information underlines that this headset's biggest capabilities, higher display resolution, eye tracking and pass-through mixed reality, will be instruments to drive Meta's vision for work and the future of VR. Consider competing for high-end VR and AR devices such as the Vive Focus 3, HoloLens 2, and Vario's headgear, where professional applications are clearly emphasized. Meta has had excellent success appealing to gamers, but it will have a more difficult time convincing businesses to use its technology. Should you get a Quest 2 right away, or wait for Cambria, or a possible Quest 3? According to current speculations, a real sequel to Quest 2 may not arrive until 2023. The Quest 3 is intended to be a headset that competes with and maybe replaces the Quest 2, but not this year. The Cambria, on the other hand, is not likely to be that headset. If the Cambria headset is as expensive as Meta claims, 
it won't even compete with the Quest 2 for most customers. Instead, it may be more about pushing more advanced technologies like eye tracking, mixed reality, and improved display quality that will ultimately trickle down into more cheap items. Keep the notions of Cambria and Quest 3 separate in your mind to help you organize your purchases. The Cambria may only appeal to affluent enthusiasts and professionals. Except for TikTok parent firm ByteDance's planned Pico headset, I don't think any VR headset will be able to compete with the Quest 2's $400 price tag anytime soon. The Quest 2 is still an excellent headset for the price, and Meta is constantly upgrading the software with new capabilities. Unless you're a professional looking for a high-end headset at any price, you probably don't need to wait until the Cambria is out later this year. If you own a PlayStation 5, you may want to wait and see what the PlayStation VR 2 has to offer. That's all for today. We will be right back. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel.